I don't know if I should be driving right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh. Oh. This guy was like, what the fuck? Um, it, it was a really good movie. Like, a re really good movie. Holy shit. Like, ah. Uh, like, look. Okay. First off, before you even, if you haven't seen it yet, and you're gonna go see it later, like if you're not seeing it tonight or tomorrow, like when this is videos up or whatever, like if you didn't see it this weekend, first thing, just letting you know, don't drink a whole bottle of water before you go see it, all right? It's it's three hours fucking long. Um, are there parts where you can squeak away to take a piss? Uh, not very many. Not, not very many. I mean, I guess at the end of the day, it depends which character is your favorite or not. Like, if you don't really care for, like, War Machine, or if you just don't give a shit about, like, Ant-Man or somebody, like, then during maybe their scenes you could skip out, but I would really not recommend it. Um, I had to take a piss during, like, right when the final battle was getting started, and it was, like, about a damn burst. And when the final battle was about to get started, I had to be like, okay, okay, I'm gonna go take a piss, because I figured nothing, nothing, it's probably just gonna be fucking just nonsense explosions and people fighting for like the next 10 minutes until something integral happens so that's that's when I went but just save yourself the trouble and just don't don't drink a bottle of water um and go easy on the drinks when you're in the theater like seriously there was a guy next to me he was a really cool dude and uh, he was with his girlfriend they were watching it and I was at the end of the aisle and uh he had this giant like fucking big glug and by the end of the movie when we were sitting at the credits he was just like <laughs> he was about to piss his pants uh, but that, that, that dude was actually really cool because when I had to go to the bathroom and I came back and sat down, I'm like, all right, shit, did I miss anything cool? And he's like, all right, so here's what happened, you know what I mean? So he, he was a cool dude. Shout out to that guy. I didn't get his name, but shout out to that guy. All right, so, um, fuck, this was a good movie. <laughs> like, I've never, I was animated as shit watching this. Now, granted, granted, I was not like... I was not up in the in the in the seats. I was like down and I had like an aisle in front of me So it was a pretty big theater where I was at so there was like the the front front row Which is like two feet from the screen That's actually where I had to sit last year when I saw Infinity War because me and my friend Phil got there super late And we were literally in the front front row All the way to the right so the entire movie was kind of distorted this time I got there not as early as I would have wanted, but I got there a little bit earlier. So it's like the front front row, and then there's an aisle, and then there's the almost front front row, and then there's another aisle, and then that's when the, the, you go up with the inclines, like those are where you want to sit. So they were all packed when I got there. So I got that center row, so there was an aisle right in front of me the entire time. I'm doing like kick flips and shit, I'm like, what the fuck, dude? And it just, it, that, that, that happened never done that at a movie before granted I, I don't really have aisle seats very often but I never felt the urge to do it up until this point um I've never shouted more at a movie and I know like I, I'm seeing I wanted to see it opening night because I saw Infinity War opening night and the experience was fucking electric you, you know like I'm not I'm not a comic book guy all right so I'm not I'm not super into like everything that happens, so I'm sure there were plenty of callbacks and references to the comic books. I, I didn't get that, but uh, oh god, man, like, so I, 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 maybe I'll go and do another video where I'll go through the whole fucking plot. I can't go through the whole plot right here because that would be an impossible task. I need to go get I need to go get some food before Chick Fil A closes because that's the perfect way to end out this night. Like get some chicken, go home, and just have a heart attack. Not from the chicken, just from the experience. Maybe a combination of the two, I don't know. Um, but, I, look, I've never, to my knowledge, I've never cried at a movie. I can't really think, I, I had a moment where I'm thinking back to all the movies I've been to, all the major movies I love, and I'm like, did I cry 
did, did I cry like at Harry Potter or did I cry at like uh, the Star Wars? Like, did I cry at any of these movies during their emotional moments? And I don't for the life of me think I did. Maybe I did. I don't remember. I got teary eyed at the end of this movie. I got teary eyed at the end of Endgame. You know, like at Iron Man's funeral, when they just pan out and you see everybody there and you realize just how big the franchise is. I mean, that's not the first moment you realize. I mean, you realize the moment when the franchise is fucking... It's when the franchise shows up at Thanos' fucking doorstep and it's like, let's do this, motherfucker. That's when you realize how big the franchise is. I'm sorry, by the way, for the stupid video phone. You know, I just... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get going. I'm going to get going now because I'm just a gibbering madman at the moment, but I just wanted to share with you my initial thoughts. Those were the initial thoughts. If you haven't seen it, see it. If you have seen it, see it again. It was a three hour long movie and I was like, you know what? I would still see this again, you know? <sighs> like they handled... I had a good idea. I was not spoiled at all going into this, but I had a decent idea how they were going to get things solved, but it blew all my fucking expectations. It really did. I can't think of one single, like, major critique of this movie. I can't point to a single moment that's like, well, this whole movie is great, but that one thing ruined it. Can't think of it. The only thing I can do is just a few very, very fucking picky nitpick shit that don't even fucking matter in the long run because the movie itself is beautiful. So, like, and I'm sure because it's a time-traveling plot, even though it's not really time travel, it's like a multiverse kind of time travel, I'm sure in the coming days and weeks there'll be people that'll actually sit down and analyze like every single moment of this movie, every event that gets changed, everything that alters every single type of path of reality. And they'll come out with like, here's a list of all the shit that Endgame created, like all the different alternate realities. Like what was up with Loki? Loki basically just, all right, I got the fucking Tesseract. I'm out bitches. And then zips off nowhere into space. That's a whole fucking other timeline creation right there. So that should be, I mean, you could all make, just make the Loki movie. Make the fucking Loki movie, you know? There you go. There, there's your next movie. I'd go see it. What was his name? Tom, Tom Middleson or something. You know who plays Loki. Okay, I, I gotta get going. I gotta get chicken. I gotta get chicken. But I just, okay. All right, we're good. We're good. All right. See you in game. For the love of God. Maybe not if you have a heart condition. But even if you have a heart condition, watch it. All right. Bye.